We'll start with Manchester United, Brighton, yeah, yes. uh, at Old Trafford. Booze at the end, actually, yeah. which is quite significant. Because you don't usually terrible. hear booze at Old Trafford. Terrible 3-1 to Brighton. Terrible. Uh, and, <laughs> to be honest, it was a deserving masterclass yet again. Yeah. And really, a Man United shambles. I think the only good thing they can take yeah. out of it was that their youth player... I forgot. I yeah. have to say... Um, Oh Nana, yeah. he yeah. he's not good. No. I don't rate him at all. He so far for Man United, he's been terrible. And he oh, there's in that game two of the goals which he probably should have saved, and it's just cr- scrappy keeping. Yeah. Honestly, it's not yeah. that good. You think about what Man United was supposed to be this season. Yeah, yeah. Like I mean, I put them second in my predictions. Yeah. Honestly, I, I, I did as well. I think they might get fourth now. The challenger lower. for the league, coming off the back of winning. The Carabao Cup and yeah. getting top four qualifying yeah. for the Champions League. You know, this season needs to be Ten Hag's season. The players have to turn up. Yeah. And I know that they had a rocky start last season, but they they can't be doing it this season, mm. especially with the talent other teams have got. Yeah. Your Liverpool's, not not Chelsea now, your Liverpool's, your Spurs, Man City will probably go on to win the league. Even your West Ham, your West Ham's this season as well with talent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, and fun stat actually that I heard yeah. that Brighton's team, yeah, mm. not stat, fun fact yeah. <laughs> about the game was Brighton's team that played. They didn't have many of their like top players this game. Yeah. The the team that Ferguson played Man was United, injured, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Well, they cost. Well, though. Their whole team cost yeah, 17 million. Yeah, I saw million that, yeah. 17 million? 17, oh, that's, that's a quarter, less than a quarter of what Jaden Sancho cost. And he was, oh, that's just he wasn't even The on thing the is, that's what Brighton do. Like, they, they have these players that they've either yeah. got from Academy or, or they bought for cheap. And then the soon they'll Brighton sell them on the for yeah. loads. And they're great players. Sort of though. with Caicedo, didn't we? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Who's not even, he's not even that good. Yeah. They're like the opposite to Chelsea <laughs> there. Yeah. I'd, you can say they're like really good individuals, but money-wise and market value worth, they play so so well as a team. Yeah. They've had a great just season, yeah. United them into this top Brighton seven. And Villa, both I of feel them like are looking like really good, not smaller teams, so they're not top six yet. I, yeah. They're both with looking the players, those dangerous so teams th- going into it. They're yeah. a really good side. They and can like, score a lot th- as well. Yeah, and we saw last season when they beat Arsenal 3 0, so we don't talk about that. <laughs> but they can they can go to for a fight at the big six clubs. Yeah. Like they like a man you they'll go and they'll win. Yeah. And that's what they'll they're really good at. Too. Yeah. It seems like for Man U it's just one thing after another. Yeah. Yeah. The Solskjaer just I don't know what happened. And then last season you could say, apart from the start <coughs> of the season, that it was a very Solid season yeah. for Man U getting, but I don't know what's happened at the well, start. Solskjaer, it was like Although real friendly, always, wasn't yeah. it? But he he was tiny period. There's always something in there. There was the yeah. owners, you know that little spell where it oh, was yeah, all yeah. on the owners. Uh, then it was the start of the season last season. Now now it's like the Jaden Sancho stuff and how Man U have yeah. started playing this season. It, it's just all all going yeah. wrong. Do you think it's enough to say that Man U are in a crisis now? Like I th- it's, it's kind of early it's on not, to I tell. I don't think it's enough yet. Yeah. It, it's Although quite with the Sancho situation, all this. Yeah, I know. It, it's you can definitely it's definitely heading there. But I don't think yeah, it's enough. All the teams that it. should be on Man United's level <laughs> for title contenders yeah. like Arsenal, Spurs, and Liverpool, they're on ten, and obviously they're City on twelve. Yeah. But Man United should be there with them. So it you can say it's kind of been quite a bad start for them, seeing as they're. On yeah. six points, four games in, in or something. So. No, five games. Five now. games six in, yeah. Six points in five mm. games, because I think you can call the Solskjaer era uh, the crisis, <coughs> yeah. because they were bottom half. They were losing four-one to Watford before he was sacked, mm. uh, and it it looked like this season Ten Hag and I predicted it as well. It looked like he could yeah, really cha- change them into this title challenging team again they did look they strong good, at the end season. of last season mm. and then something's that, happened it was the break I think that, yeah. that got them uh, and they've brought in good players as well you know mm. they brought in Hoyland who who I think had a goal ruled out I think it, uh, all, the, all the fans were 70 million for Hoyland is crazy all the fans were booing he when he came off as well um, yeah. I, think, I think he's a good player but 
subbing him off when they need goals is a bit it's a bit of a dumb decision yeah. honestly but, yeah. I mean I was speaking to someone about it and it's we were saying how when you play Man United it's not like you're going in thinking right these are the red devils mm. they're going to give us a game it's yeah. like well they're just like Man United yeah, yeah, yeah. we're playing Spurs you know. next weekend and I'm kind of shaky on that because yeah. they look, they're looking good but when we were playing Man U I didn't actually think too much of it I was like hmm it's not going to be that yeah. tough. But they're not also, like the big, scary red devils. They're, they're used yeah. to, yeah. Yeah. Like, when, back then when you played Man U, it was like a massive game. Especially and for, was it one point in the top nine away games? So they played oh. uh, like your City's Arsenal's, even like your Brighton's, and they got yeah. one point out of all their away games against oh, the top nine. Crazy. So that's And crazy. So if you want to be title contenders, <coughs> you've got to be winning some of them. Yeah, like, you got, well, yeah. Uh, get in the comments as well what you think. Are Man United in a crisis or is it just a little bad spell at the start and they can get back to, I don't know, challenging for the league, <laughs> if, if anything?